ือทำไมจอคุณหายอ่ะเกิดอะไรขึ้นครับต้องเสียบปลั๊กเขาก่อนหรออ๋อมีคนเอาอันนี้ลงครับเออนี่ไงต้องบูตก่อนอะไรวะปิดเปิดหายเลยมันโดนดีเด็กว่าแอมมันไม่ไม่ได้แบบผ่านด้านบูตอยู่นะครับพ่อของใครไม่พอเลยไม่แต่ตัวมึงเนี้ยดำมึงเนี้ยดำเสื้อนี้ตรงนี้เสื้อนี้ดำเอางี้มึงถอดอย่างนี้ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ขึ้นเนี่ยมาห้องนี้เกิดอะไรขึ้นครับคุณอยากชอบฟังของเดิมเนี่ยนะไหนขอดูก่อนเดี๋ยวตัวจริงหรือเปล่าครับทรายกรจริงนะเออใช่ใช่จำหน้าตาได้แล้วเดินทางนี้ก็ได้ครับโอ้ภูเมศมาแล้วนะครับมาก่อนเดนทาร์ทันวินครับทันวินอยู่อยู่อยู่เอาแล้วคุณเรื่องเลยแต่ผมยืมส่งครับผมขาดเนื่องจากเนื่องจากเนื่องจากลืมครับแล้วคุณไม่ได้เช็คไฟล์ประจำสัปดาห์อะไรเหรอจำวันที่ผมส่งส่งกลับเข้ามาในรายกลุ่มหรือรายส่วนตัวผมก็ได้เดี๋ยวไปแก้คืนของครั้งไหนเนี่ยครั้งหนึ่งหรือครั้งสองมันจะมีครั้งเดียวคุณไปด้วยสาเหตุอะไรครับตอนนั้นไปโอเปนเฮาจูลาเพื่อนที่เหลือตอนนั้นที่ขาดเยอะมีลูกหรือเปล่าเอ้ยใช่ตอนอยู่ที่นู่นนะมีสักรูปอะไรคุณไหมว่าอยู่สถานที่นั่นจริงๆนะครับปรากฏตัวที่นั่นอะไรอย่างเงี้ยมีแค่ไปมีแค่ไปลาใช่แต่ไปจริงๆกับครึ่งเดียวครึ่งเดียวแล้วกันเนี่ยงั้นไปขอดูกล้องเพื่อนอะว่ามันติดรูปคุณไปบ้างไหมก็ส่งรูปนั้นเข้ามาอ่าก็ในไลน์กลุ่มเราอะ BTS อ่ะ BTS BTS underscore B A M B A M R U N G B T S underscore B A M R U N G ครับอ่านั่นแหละครับ K R นัทนัทวัฒนัทวัฒน์ครับธนกรครับธนกรไม่งั้นสมมติจู่ไปได้จานไหนจานที่ดูได้ได้เลยเหรอจู่ไม่ได้เขาจานที่เราสกินแล้วไม่ต้องรู้จู่ไปได้อ่ะจริงจริงจริงจริงจริงจริงจริงจริงจริงจริงจริงจริงจริงจริงจริงจริงจริงจริงจริงจริงจริงจริงจริงจริงจริงจริงจริงจริงจริงจริงจริงจริงจริงจริงจริงจริงจริงจริงจริงจริงจริงจริงจริงจริงจริงจริงจริงจริงจริงจริงจริงจริงจริงจริงจริงจริงจริงจริงจริงจริงจริงจริงจริงจริงสิรพกวันนี้อันนี้ขอขาวันนี้แต่สิรพก็มีลาไปสิรพก็จำไม่ได้เหมือนกันต้องไปดูข่าวที่แล้วครับสิรพกจานยี่สิบเก้ามาในครอบโอ้คุณใจดีดิอ๋อมี
อันนี้เพิ่งมาแจ้งหลังผมทําใบไม่ทันคณะกรคณะกรว่าไงสามคนยิบเก้าพูดอ่ะอ่าเช็คใช่ไหมก็ได้วันนี้กูดยี่สิบก็มาครับยี่สิบเจ็ดโอ้โหยี่สิบเจ็ดแบกกระเป๋าเลยอ่ะวันนี้ครับแล้วทำไมปีนี้เทอมนี้ร้องเรียนขอเปิดเร็วจังอ่ะเทอมที่แล้วไม่เห็นเปิดเร็วเลยโอ้เทอมนี้ไม่เหลือติดละโอเคอ่าธนากรว่าไงปล่อยเป็นออนลิฟนะหรือว่าแอปเซนไม่มีใบอะไรเลยผมแอปเซนก็ไม่แจ้งมาเลยนะครับไม่มีจับอะไรนะคุณครูเบนคุณว่าหกศูนย์ห้าคุณครูเบนคุณใช่ป่ะเออเขาไม่ได้แจ้งผมมานะเรื่องของพันธกรอ่ะทัดจะนั่งในแถวนี้ทัดอยู่ไหนทัดอ่าโอเคมือบังโอเคแล้วก็อันนี้วัดอยู่อ่านู่นจานนู่นแล้วนู่นเรามีจะอยู่แถวนี้เอาไปนั่งนู่นแล้วแล้วก็สหรัฐสหรัฐอยู่อ่าโอเคคุณตำแหน่งเดิมนะครับสมัตจะอยู่แถวนี้อ่าโอเคไปนู่นนะจีโน่แถวนี้คือกีตาร์อ๋อไปนู่นแล้วครับแล้วก็แดนฟ้าข้างนี้ออกไปนี่โอเคชยากรคุณถอดเสื้อไปไหนแล้วโอเคใส่เสื้อนั่นโอเคอ่าปุญญาวีโอเคครับแล้วก็ภูมินันจะอยู่แถวนี้ไปไหนเอ่ยโอเคกันเอกจะนั่งในแถวรถโอเคกิดเคจะอยู่หลังๆโอเคครับแล้วก็นัทนนนัทนนเออไม่เห็นมีข้อมูลเลยไม่รู้เรื่องนะผมแอบเซนไปก่อนนะคุณส่งใบมาทีหลังนะหรือฮะมันไม่มีมาที่ลายฟิสิกส์ไงเอาไงเนี่ยผมจะเลยลบกลับสีโอมีนะครับเนี่ยคุณครูเบนคุณเขาส่งมาคลิกนี่อะไรเนี่ยคลิกทันวินนะคลิกทันวินแล้วก็นี่นะครับนัทนนนะไปร่วมกิจกรรมทักกิจครับทักกิจทักกิจเขาจะแบบอยู่แถวๆเนี้ยดัดฟันใส่แว่นอ่ะใช่ป่ะเขาจะดัดฟันใส่แว่นคราวที่แล้วใส่เสื้อลายอยู่ไม่ใช่เหรอที่ไปจุฬาทักกิจอ่ะไม่เจอผมแอบเซ็นนะไม่เจอผมแอบเซ็นนะผมทักกิจตามสบายครับปัดทำจะอยู่อแล้วก็กริตีตัวบางบางทางนู้นข้างหลังกริตีโอเคโอเคมาโน้นแล้วก็ธนทรจะตรงนี้นะโอเคนาฬิกจะอยู่เฉียงเฉียงแค่นี้โอเคครับแล้วก็กระสิเดชเราจำได้เราได้ที่คุณไปคราวที่แล้วนะในที่ที่โอเพนเฮาส์ของเราโอเคครับโอเคเรียบร้อยแล้วก็เหลือภูเมศนะภูเมศเจอตัวแล้วนี่นะครับคุณเขียนคุณเขียนเหตุผลได้แบบสุดยอดมากคุณเขียนว่าไปเที่ยวเลยนะซึ่งมันไม่เคยมีใครเขียนนะว่าไปเที่ยวไปเที่ยวนี่ต้องปรึกษาก่อนนะว่าควรให้ขนาดไหนนะครับอาจจะครึ่งเดียวนะเพราะว่ามันไม่เกี่ยวกับการเรียนครับที่เด็กสาธิตเหมือนกันนะเด็กสาธิตไปเที่ยวจำไม่ได้ฮ่องกงหรือไต้หวันนะ
นั่นแหละผมก็ให้ครึ่งหนึ่งนะเด็กสาธิตสาธิตมสวก็น่าจะเข้ากันห้อง605นี่ห้อง605นี่สมัครที่ไหนกันบ้างครับพวกพวก604เขาให้ผมเขียน letter of recommendation กันปริมาณหนึ่งนะครับเขาเริ่มเตรียมสมัครกันแล้วพวกคุณพวกคุณเป็นยังไงเตรียมตัวกันอย่างไรนะโอเค Let's continue. Uh, let's check whether it works well. Okay, works perfectly fine. Okay, test one, two, three. Um, where is M six zero five? Okay, M six zero five, right here. Okay, ah. Uh, okay, as you can see, um. When the wavelength, ah, ah, ผมก็เรียกตั้งหลายรอบทักติดทักติดอยู่ครับเพื่อนไม่บอกเพื่อนไว้ก่อนเห็นไหมไปเลยนี่นะครับเซนเหลืออีกคนนึงครับที่ชื่อว่าธนกรนะข้อมูลข้อมูลไม่มีนะธนกรนามคุณเศรษฐบุตรมสมสเฮ้ยมีเขาไปทำงานสถาบันแล้วฮะตั้งแต่สมัครที่บวกสถาบันไหนหมถึงแบบคล้ายๆที่พวกจิตอาสาโรงพยาบาลอย่างเงี้ยเหรอไม่ใช่เนาะไม่ใช่เนาะไม่ใช่เนาะเขาลาเขาลาเขาลาเขาลาเขาลาเฮ้ยแต่ชาลุนเขียนในใบบอกว่าธุระครอบครัวให้เหรอเออแต่เขาเขียนว่าธุระครอบครัวครับเข้าใจอยู่เข้าใจอยู่ครับก็ตามนั้นนะตามที่ในรายละเอียดที่คุณเขียนชาโนนนี่ยังไม่เคยเจอหน้าแล้วตั้งแต่เปิดเธอมาสาวครั้งเขาลาลวดสาวครั้งแรกเลยครับเคอาร์ let's continue our uh, uh, stuff here uh, as you know before uh, uh, when you have Uh, higher and higher frequency, uh, the energy that uh, any object we observe from the uh, we we absorb from the electromagnetic wave will be higher and higher increases, right? So, uh, so uh, the energy depends uh, on the frequency. But actually, if you go to the shadow of uh, quantum physics. That is the relation uh, by Max Planck. Okay, Max Planck found that, that uh, energy depends on a constant times the frequency. Okay, E equal to H F. But this formula is not shown yet at the moment at this chapter. Okay, if you go to the chapter of quantum physics, you're gonna see E equal to H F, which means the energy depends on the frequency. Or mean it means Uh, when f is c by lambda, it means uh, when the lambda is uh, shorter, you're gonna get higher energy. Okay. Huh? Nuot. Nuot. What? 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 What
โอเคอ่าวัดเชียอ่า energy starts from lower mouth to higher mouth and อ่า you start with ELF okay ELF means extra low frequency so the frequency is extremely low and uh, it's safe okay uh, with appropriate uh, doses it's gonna be good to our human body um, One of the example of the low frequency is known as very low frequency. Okay, very low frequency means the the frequency are uh, less than 100 hertz. Okay, uh, uh, like this. Okay, uh, for example, if you are close to the transmitter line, because uh, the the current or the electron move forward and backward. Uh, 50 times in one second. So, simply speaking, it's 50 hertz, right? So, uh, you get also electromagnetic wave from that because you accelerate the shot, right? There will also be in automatic induced uh, magnetic field, and then you get uh, uh, the electromagnetic field. อ่าฟิลอีฟิลแอนแมนคือขอขอรบกวนมิบุญปิดหน้าต่างเลยนะปิดไปปิดประตูหน่อยนะแล้วเสียงมันออกไปครับ so you get uh, 50 hertz of EM uh, my EM wave also from uh, the socket or the transmitter line but um, this frequency is safe and uh, sometimes it's good for our health and uh, when we talk about the low frequency Uh, like uh, uh, like television or something like that. it's almost safe but uh, it's still uh, not good for our human body but it's not very really dangerous okay for example the uh, radio radio frequency from the television station or uh, from the uh, radio okay or even from the television itself And uh, when you go higher, like uh, in several hundred megahertz, uh, it's radio receiver and uh, base station transmitter. Uh, you can see that base station in uh, radio or cellular uh, wireless communication system, you can have base station uh, like this, right? Of course, the, the base station will be equipped with uh, the antenna. The antenna will be uh, will uh, uh, will originate. Okay, we will, will transmit the electromagnetic wave from the, the antenna, and this is the symbol ele electromagnetic wave propagation. Okay, uh, in that case, um, the frequency starts from several hundred megahertz to uh, one gigahertz. Okay, uh, yeah, it's. Still almost safe, okay, but has some uh, has something harmful, and this will be very very critical if you have a house that is close to the base station transceiver. Okay, uh, it might not be so good to your health. Okay, not uh, well uh, suitable if you choose a house close to the base station transceiver. Okay, you can get some drawback from that uh, in terms of uh, health or body damage. And uh, if you go to higher frequency, like in microwave oven, and uh, mobile phone or handy or Wi-Fi, okay, uh, in this region or even the uh, satellite communication, uh, satellite radar or something like that, this is dangerous. Okay, because uh, you have higher uh, higher frequency and the energy is not small anymore okay it's quite uh, significant um, you can see that if you put the meat of anything or any frozen food into the microwave okay, it's gonna be um, molten down right and uh, that's why the, we use this idea okay to uh, heat up uh, some product, frozen product.
Okay, and uh, if you go to a higher region like infrared, okay, the frequency is on the order of 30 gigahertz, and the wavelength of the electromagnetic wave is only 10 millimeter. Okay, uh, it's uh, it's still uh, dangerous. Okay, and uh, sunlight. Okay, sunlight is the visible light. Okay, uh, for us. But the sunlight also consists of infrared and ultraviolet, right? Uh, in order to protect your eye uh, from the, the ultraviolet, you need to wear the eyeglasses. Okay, in uh, for uh, the appropriate, appropriate dosage of the uh, visible light or sunlight, uh, human body is safe. Okay, but with the <coughs> Infrared or ultraviolet that might be so harmful to human body. Okay, uh, what you can observe is that uh, you can get some uh, dark spot on your skin. Okay, that okay that causes by uh, that causes by sweating up, sweating up. That's causes that is caused by the infrared. Okay, in uh, yeah, if you get that amount of uh, infrared longer and longer. You can get cancer on your skin, right? Skin cancer. And uh, when we move to even higher frequency, like X-ray, okay, with this uh, with this uh, high frequency, okay, um, you can differentiate uh, the bone, human bones, uh, from uh, the tissue or skin, okay. The, uh, the human use use this uh, frequency region to uh, investigate uh, the human bone, okay, whether it's broken or not, okay, from the X-ray. And uh, gamma rays has even higher frequency, and its energy level is extremely high. Okay, you can see the frequency is high for X-ray. And uh, yeah, of course. Uh, uh, if you are a little close to the nuclear power plant, okay, you can get uh, blood cancer easily, and that will be a serious uh, disease, right? You cannot fully recover from the blood cancer. I don't know. Yeah. So it's not good if you stay in a place that has always the gamma rays. Okay? Uh, the way to protect somehow is to wear the clothes that is made of aluminum. Okay. Do you think that the clothes for human body that is composed of aluminum is, is comfortable? I would say no, right? because uh, that would be quite heavy. But that's the only way to protect you from, uh, protect you partially, partially from the gamma rays. Okay, uh, we have the first example that talks about uh, the relationship between um, electromagnetic uh, wave speed and the lambda, okay, which is the wavelength of that electromagnetic wave and the frequency of that uh, wave. From the basic uh, wave theory, you have V equal to lambda f, right? V is the speed of that wave. Lambda is the wavelength of a wave and frequency is the uh, the number of rounds per second of that wave. But when we talk about the electromagnetic wave in this chapter, you know that the speed of the electromagnetic wave of any frequency in the free space will be three times ten to eight meter per second, right? Which is this quantity. And uh, once we replace V by C, we're going to get C. And in this problem, they would like to know the wavelength, which is uh, the later lambda here, uh, from an amplitude modulation with a frequency of 1.5 megahertz. So what is amplitude modulation? Amplitude modulation is the basic type of the modulation in telecommunication in engineering or in wireless communication. Okay, that's the early stage of uh, of the wireless of the telecommunication, you know the the human uh, 
can generate the sine wave easily, right? And uh, uh, they use sine wave as the carrier frequency uh, carrier signal. But uh, the information that you want to transfer can be high, low, and high, low, or any type of shape. And uh, at the early stage of the communication, they just multiply the information that you want to uh, transmit to the carrier frequency that you are allowed to use, okay? Because any, everyone want to transmit something, but if you use the same frequency, use the same carrier signal, it means uh, the, there will be the summation of the carrier signal that will cause interference, okay? If you don't have any code to make encryption, if you transmit purely with the sine wave and with the same frequency, okay, that will be interference. And uh, the receiver or the guy who want to get information cannot go ahead at all, okay, because uh, uh, it cannot detect or retrieve the, 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 the information at all because that was only uh, interference. Okay, but uh, at the early stage, they just multiply any uh, data to the carry frequency, okay? You multiply, when this is high to uh, this portion, is you're gonna get uh, high amplitude during this area. And here you get lower amount of data, right? So you get lower amplitude moderators now. And so on, okay? High, low, high, low, okay? Greater fluctuation, lower fluctuation, and higher vibration. This is going with time, okay, with respect to time. And uh, this is example of amplitude modulation, okay. So what are other types of modulation in wireless communication? Actually, I would say at the moment, at the present, there are several types of modulation. But the basic thing apart from uh, the basic type apart from AM is FM, okay? FM is frequency modulation, okay? You can change the frequency and uh, you don't have to use the, the amplitude modulation. Okay, when you change the frequency, uh, you can transmit also well the, uh, the information because with the higher frequency, you get finer information, okay? Uh, not the... Uh, bad information or coarse information. So the sound quality will be quite good when you use higher frequency of the uh, sinusoid signal. Okay, uh, and uh, the bad thing about uh, um, um, frequency modulation or FM is that uh, you cannot transmit it, uh, your uh, information so widely, okay? Um, only AM, okay, amplitude modulation can be transmitted uh, from one province to other province, okay, as soon as the, your Earth uh, can, uh, can still uh, reflect, uh, the, 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 the weather can still reflect uh, the signal, okay. And uh, the bad thing about AM is that the quality of the sound is not good, but the length for the EM to propagate is quite large compared to the, the FM. Okay, there is some benefit. I'm, I'm not sure whether one of you uh, is still dealing with the radio uh, nowadays or not. I'm not sure. But you rarely use the um, radio, right? Turn on the clock to receive some news from a uh, radio station or something. Uh, you would prefer the new generation, a uh, new way, right, in your generation. That's uh, maybe uh, in internet, in the website, or even from YouTube or any kind of other social platform, right? Um, yeah, that's uh, amateur moderation. Okay, but the good thing is that you can transmit your information quite widely, okay, by using the AM, because uh, uh, it, it can be reflected from the weather, from the upper atmosphere, and uh, 
these has longer wavelengths, so they can, for one cycle, they can propagate quite far, uh, quite far away from the uh, radio source, radio channel, radio station. Okay, uh, they would like to know wavelength, so wavelength is lambda, we move F to the left hand side, that will be lambda equal to C by F. Okay, because we know C, C is the speed of electromagnetic wave, and that's uh, 3 times 10 to 8, right? And uh, frequency it is, is the frequency of this uh, AM modulated uh, waveform. It means it corresponds to the frequency of the carrier signal, this one, okay? So it's 1.5 megahertz. When, once you substitute uh, 3 times 10 to 8, okay, you don't have to use the exact amount like this, okay, you may use a simple, simpler number, 3 times 10 to 8. And you divide it by the frequency, which is 1.5, 10 to 6, okay, you're going to get almost uh, uh, 200 uh, meter per second. That's the wavelength. Okay, you can see that the wavelength of the AM is quite large, right? Let's think about the competition of uh, 100 meter running. Okay, it's quite far, but this one has the wavelength of 200 meters, so it's like uh, Usain Bolt or something like that, that who is running at uh, 200 meters. Okay, but uh, this is the distance for the AM wave that can cover by one cycle, okay, 200 meters. Clearly, the AM is going to cover the distance of 200 meters. เดี๋ยวผมขอญาตเข้าห้องน้ำแป๊บนึงครับขอญาตเข้าห้องน้ำแป๊บนึงดื่มน้ำเยอะนะสวัสดีสวัสดีเพื่อนเพื่อนทุกคนด้วยนะครับขอต้อนรับสู่ค่าฟิสิกส์วันนี้นะครับมีอะไรพูดไหมครับคุณแบมเฟิร์สเป็นเกย์เฟิร์สเป็นเกย์นะครับเฟิร์สเป็นเกย์ครับเดี๋ยวเราก็จะไปเดี๋ยวเราก็จะไปเดี๋ยวเราก็จะไปเดี๋ยวเราก็จะไปเดี๋ยวเราก็จะไปเดี๋ยวเราก็จะไปเดี
Okay, um, oh, let's do it. Oh, yeah, that. You are. Oh, yeah, one. 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 Oh, yeah, แล้วจากนั้นเขาก็จะมาสอนเหมือนเดิมอย่างนี้เหรออ๋อโอเคโอเคโอเคเคเคเคเคโอเคเคเคเคเคเคเคเคเคเคเคเคเคเคเคเคเคเคเคเคเคเคเคเคเคเคเคเคเคเค The speed of the light is three times into eight, right? And uh, uh, you have uh, for the electromagnetic wave, uh, the speed of the electromagnetic wave uh, is equal to the speed of the light. So 
it's three approximately three times ten to eight, but it's not the exact value. Okay, three times ten to eight. In huh? Go, go, jump, by. Okay, man. Three times ten to eight. Three times ten But the exact value is two nine nine or something like that. Okay. Uh, the actual value, the exact value of the uh, speed is there. Okay, which is computed by uh, Maxwell, like this. Okay, you can see it's not three times ten to eight. Actually, this is only the approximate value. Yeah. Uh, it's two nine nine something like this. Okay, nine, but nine. it's not uh, so easy, right? To remember all of these numbers, so for us in the high school level, we're gonna use a simple uh, number like this. Okay, three uh, uh, simple quantity, three times ten to eight meter per second. Okay, approximately. You can also use this number. Okay, don't uh, be serious to take this value to substitute that value to everywhere. Okay. See where it's doing. Okay. Uh, okay. C is three times ten to eight in uh, that's the speed of the lights. Okay. We for a general wave that has V equal to uh, lambda f, we we will replace uh, V by C. So we get right now C equal to lambda f, and because we uh, this problem asks us to find the wavelength which is lambda, so we need to keep lambda on the right hand side and you what you need to do is to move uh, f to the left hand side from the multiplication it's going to appear as the division right so f will be the denominator for this ratio c will be numerator and uh, c is known right three times uh, times 10 to 8 and f is also provided here okay they say the frequency is 1.5 megahertz, so mega, okay, is the is the prefix unit that you need to know, okay, 10 to 6, right, 1.5 times 10 to 6. This is 3 times, approximately 3 times 10 to 8, so you're going to get somehow 200, right, 200 meter for one cycle. So what is the meaning? It means the side wave of the carry frequency in this figure, for one cycle, you will get uh, it, this uh, complete waveform, this single complete waveform, will cover uh, 200 meter, okay, for only one pulse, one cycle. And here is another uh, broad diagram, uh, frequency diagram of the uh, frequency chart of the electromagnetic wave for several frequency. Uh, we start from uh, bottom to the top. We start with the long wave. Okay, the long wave would have a frequency around 10,000 10, or even 100,000 uh, hertz. Okay. In, uh, when uh, here the the wavelength is not uh, it, it, it's not small okay? it covers quite large area like uh, the the AM amplitude modulation can cover like uh, one kilometer okay this is the reason why it, um, um, the the AM can uh, AM signal can uh, propagate quite far because the, there is no because it can be reflected from the uh, from the weather or the weather uh, on Earth, and then uh, if you go higher, it's going to be the frequency of uh, FM, okay, frequency modulation or television. Okay, when you have uh, when you have license for that. Okay, one of the I think your generation would still be familiar or get used to the radio channel JS100, right? JS100. 
จอสร้อยนะอ่าย่า JS 100 mean they use the carry frequency of 100 megahertz so 100 is 10 to 2 mega means 10 to 6 right so the total would be a total uh, power would be 10 to 8 right yeah 10 to 8 is this layer okay 10 to 8 hertz or so 100 uh, 100 megahertz Okay, uh, yeah, the television also used uh, this uh, mega, okay, with a little bit higher frequency. If you go higher, it's gonna be mic it's gonna correspond to microwave, okay? And as you know, the purpose of the microwave is to increase the temperature of any material, like our frozen foods, a, a frozen food, right? And uh, if you go higher, it's gonna be infrared or visible, right? Okay, in, in fact, it covers quite large from one millimeter to one micrometer. And beyond the infrared, that will be the visible light. Okay, uh, that will be violet, sorry, blue, green, yellow, orange, and red. Okay, those are all region, those are all uh, bands that human eyes can detect. Okay, uh, in far means low, right? ultra means high. So ultraviolet means the EM band that has higher frequency than the typical visible light. Okay, visible light is the most familiar type of EM electromagnetic wave that human uh, can notice. Okay, simply by eye. And uh, when you go higher, it's gonna be X-ray, right? X-ray. X-ray is used to investigate or diagnose uh, the human body uh, by the doctors, right? And gamma ray is a higher level, okay, than the, the X-ray. Okay, of course, with time frequency, gamma ray can provide uh, more energy to any material like a human tissue. That's dangerous uh, for uh, human tissue. Okay, you have seen the diagram of EM wave where the electric and magnetic field oscillate in a single plane perpendicular to each other. And uh, yeah, actually the electric and magnetic vibration in an EM wave can oscillate in different planes. Okay, uh, So polarization is the ability of transfer waves to oscillate in more than one direction. Okay, this is only the feature for the transfer wave, like electromagnetic wave. Our most common electromagnetic wave detector uh, respond to the E field, like uh, human eyes, on electron and materials, not the magnetic forces. So, uh, in order to describe the polarization of the electromagnetic wave, we're going to use the E field, the electric field, okay? Direction of the polarization of EM wave can be defined as the direction of the electric field vector, not the magnetic field vector. Mm. Uh, the most typical type of the polarization is this one, okay? It's called linear polarization. It means that is vibration of fluctuation only this component, okay, vertically, okay, going up and going down, going up, going down. So the fluctuation, the vibration will go up, go up and go down like this. So this is a straight line, okay. When we have this straight line for the E field, we're going to say that this is the linear polarization because we have E field like the linear, straight up like this, okay, linear the light uh, that situates straight up like this. And uh, if you see the complete form of the electromagnetic wave, right, there will be also induced magnetic field with the same phase, like this, okay. In the horizontal plane, this is the, uh, in the vertical plane, right, so. But anyway, if we also write magnetic field every time, that will be difficult for us to, to pay attention to the polarization, okay? 
we are going to skip the electromagnetic uh, we we will skip the magnetic field okay we will write only electric field but we we would assume that uh, any reader should understand that there will also be induced magnetic field otherwise that will not be the complete electromagnetic field okay there should be e field and h field okay Another time, because um, the EMF can propagate to any uh, area in the space, right, in the universe. So sometimes it hits uh, some planet or some star, and that will cause the reflection component, reflected component. Uh, for example, this one, um, uh, the shifting phase uh, along the horizontal plane and the vertical plane is given by 90 degrees. And uh, when the amplitude of the vertical E, uh, the vertical electric field, E is the same as the magnitude of the E field in the horizontal plane. Okay, because there is phase shift between two vectors, uh, this will cause the rotation. Okay, this will cause the rotation like this. Okay, mưa sanam. แน่นอนมันมันทับกันไม่ได้เนาะคำทับมันก็จะเฉียงนะครับอ่าเมื่อสนามไฟฟ้านะครับที่ตามหลังมาตามหลังมาด้วย90องศามันเกิดจากการเอียมเวฟไปชนวัตถุวัตถุหนึ่งอ่ะแล้วมันก็เลื่อนชิปขึ้นกลับมาสะท้อนแล้วมาบวกกันนะครับ Okay, when that is reflected component, combining with the original component, this one, the horizontal plane and the vertical plane, that's the uh, reflected component. So uh, this will cause the rotation of the E field okay, when you combine both uh, vertical and horizontal planes. Okay, you get rotation of the, uh, of the E field. Okay, but it cannot be simply Return onto the figure like this. Okay. Uh, circularly polarized light consists of two perpendicular EM plane waves of equal amplitude and 90 degrees in phase. Okay, when the amplitudes when the amplitudes are equal, you can get this, uh, this one, right? Electric field. Huh? ไม่หยุดผมก็เดินไปเลยเออโทรศัพท์นี้เป็นอะไรเนี่ยทำไมห้องนู้นก็ตัดเหมือนกันสิบสามสิบสามนาทีแล้วก็ตัดเหมือนกับคนนู้นใช่ป่ะบอกผมก็ลบรูปลบคลิปอะไรหมดแล้วนะไม่รู้เหมือนกันครับเออนึกว่าเป็นเพราะไมโครโฟนหรือว่าเป็นผมชาร์จหรือว่าเราไปเซตอะไรผมก็ไม่เคยเซตอะไรของกล้องก่อนนะเออสู้สิบสามไม่ได้สิบสามอัดยาวรวดแต่นั้นมีมันน้อยสองอหกก็เต็มวันไหนที่ผมสอนเช้าบ่ายนะครับมันก็จะเต็มเลยของนั้นมันไม่ทันดิเพราะว่าไฟล์หนึ่งมันร้อยกิกอะคุณอัปโหลดไม่ทันอะร้อยกิกจริงๆเพราะมันเป็น 4K ไงใช่ผมอัด 4K นะครับเนี่ยอ so, uh, คือถ้าไม่ 4K นะครับเวลาคุณดูอ่ะตัวหนังสือมันจะแตกถ้าเป็น 4K แล้วชัดคลิปเลยครับโอเคอ่าอ่าอย่าโอ้ you can see the triangle between both polarizing axes is fine okay So uh, when you decompose uh, this thing, uh, this component to this one, okay, it's going to be E cos phi. Okay, E cos phi in the vertical line like this. Okay, of course, this one will be bigger than this one, and bigger than this one. The intensity will be lower and lower, right? Uh, okay. Uh, Adrian Luzma Luz discovered that um, the intensity after the polarizing uh, field or polarizer will be IMAX. The maximum value 
of the intensity mean, it means this one okay the intensity before the before the second filter times cosine square of phi okay uh, cosine square uh, let's have a look at another figure if you have i0 okay uh, which has the e field in every direction and if you have the vertical filter like this you align uh, the polarizing axis vertically like this okay only the light that has the vertical e field will be passed through will be allowed to pass through this uh, filter okay of course for a single filter i will be half of this one okay and uh, uh, for another uh, single, uh, the second filter, when you rotate the polarizing axis by phi, okay, the Dutch line represents the original uh, orientation of the polarizing axis from the first filter. There is the angle phi, okay. Of course, after the second filter, only the component that has tilt, that is tilted by Angle phi will can can go right further, go ahead, right? So um, the reason, the uh, reason, the relationship will be i equal to i max times uh, cosine square phi. I max is the maximum value of the intensity, which has the unit of watt per square meter. Okay, and uh, it's phi. And phi is the angle right between two polarizers. Let us see what is covered by 18 Louis Malus in uh, 1809. It's known as Malus Law. Okay. Uh, now let's have a look at the first example. Uh, if the narrow beam of the unpolarized light that has intensity of I0 is directed to the pair of polarizing sunglasses. So sunglasses will act as the ideal polarizers to us. If the angle between both polarizing axes in uh, those two uh, sunglasses planes, um, what is the intensity can we expect from the first, after the first lens, after the second lens, second eyeglass? Okay, uh, the diagram can be written like this. This is the unpolarized light with intensity of I0. Okay, the first one is linear by 30 degrees. And of course, the outcome would be the E field that is linear by 30 degrees. And after that, we have the polarizing axis in the second lens to stay vertically like this. Of course, the outcome would be the E field that stays vertically like this. Of course, this is here we have the intensity of I0. This is will be one half I0. And here we will be uh, here we would have the intensity of something of Malus law, right? So uh, of course after the first lane we get I1 one half I0. And the intensity after the second lane will be I1 times cosine square two uh, cosine square times a whole side square of 30 degrees. One half of each uh, intensity times square root 3 by 2 square. You're going to get 3 by 4, right? 3 by 4 and 1 by 2 will be 3 by 8. Okay, three, that results in 3 by 8 I0. That's the result from the Malus law, okay? The time is over. We need to finish right now. See you on Wednesday. Bye bye. Sawadee ka. Sorry, how? Sorry, how? Okay. 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 Ok